Right, so um, got a snug pack um, jungle blanket XL. Cause we're looking at having a different quilt system and stuff for the for the hammock. But um, I've seen a few modifications that have been done by people, looking at um, sort of buttoning up the front, uh, having it sort of like a, a camp quilt while you're sitting around. People just open up a little uh, slot, a uh, little slit at the top for the uh, having it zipped up for the neck, just so you can poke your head up. But um, I had a old pack away, I think it's like a three hundred power uh, down crag hopper i think it was um hoodie the jacket -y thing with a hood and um i've upgraded that now obviously it's wrong size because all the weight loss and stuff but um, i took the hood off and i put it onto my uh, old people some some people call them woobies um i put it onto the jungle blanket um done a, a pull called for for zip like closing it up so if you're going to use it as a blanket you don't want a hole halfway through it and then putting some press studs along the side so you can like, make a foot box with it and then the other one i've done is um up the front um because i know with this the um helicon text one there's like a belt that goes around it but I, I, it wasn't my cup of tea but i thought about having to be able to close it up a little bit so i put a little bit of velcro you'll, you'll see in the pictures as we go um brilliant um the missus says it's it's is it easy enough to take on and off and stuff and yeah. and warm yeah brilliant so you know um just a few modifications i know there's a few around but i just wanted to to put my ones on there um if there's any that come to your mind or some ones that you've done i just think it makes it you know it's not just a nice poncho liner now because um and, you know when you chuck a poncho on they're brilliant for keeping the rain off, but they feel horrible against your skin, it's not, whether it's your head or whatever. But now you've got this. Um, it, it's a brilliant punch, which is meant to be anyway, but otherwise you're just wrapping it around your shoulders. Um, but um, brilliant bit of kit. It's meant to be one of the top ones as well for, for insulation, but I'm not paying out 130, 140 pound for the, um, the Helicon Tex one. Well, I think Thermarest do one as well, which is around the sort of hundred pound mark. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but I'm sure you'll find it. Thermarest poncho liner. Um, the thing I do like about the Helicon Tex and the Thermarest one is that they do come with the chest pocket, um, but they're more like sort of to keep warm them rather than you know keep you dry. You're gonna have a decent poncho you can get them with the chest pockets anyway so which would negate the one on the uh on the woobie or whatever you want to call it um the only thing i want to do on that is possibly put some little ties on the corners for um using it as an underquilt um i have an underquilt anyway so it's just whether i want to use this for the underquilt and leave the proper underquilt at home and use a bag so it just gives a little bit of flexibility. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, and um, pop any comments down below if you've, you've done the same or if, if you have as well, or, or you see, you know of any videos that people have done that sort of stuff, pop the link into the, the description and um, I'd love to have a look. Um, thanks very much, uh, God bless and uh, stay safe.